Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning December 2nd, 2020. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Taking a look at the moon this week. In this forecast period, next Tuesday, December 8th, will be 52% visibility in the morning hours. So you'll have to go out after midnight to see it rise. In fact, it rises exactly at midnight and sets just afternoon. Uh, last time we scooped up the drought index for, I guess, the following week. So this week. This is not new data. It's what we saw last week. So you can still see pretty extreme drought conditions in the western slopes. And not a lot of relief has come yet. With colder weather, though, we're not losing as much water from the ground. So things are not worsening either. We're just kind of holding our own right now, waiting for more water to return which will take a little while to happen. This is the same national map as last week with our long-term drought throughout most of the western uh, states. We did have our snow and precipitation early last week and it gets scooped into the last seven days uh, map here. Here's Fort Collins down to Colorado Springs. You can see about a half inch to an inch in some of these mountain areas. The um, Cameron Peak Fire and the Troublesome East Troublesome Fire are all 100% contained now. So I do not think there are any fires that are not fully contained. Ah, we're done with fires and smoke in the sky. Looking at the next 10 days, our temperatures are still dropping in the norms from 45 to 42. That's not quite as quick as the drop as we've seen over the last few uh couple months, normal low temperature only drops a degree from 18 to 17. So we're beginning to show signs of bottoming out, but that really won't happen until after the new year. Absolutely bone dry conditions through the 9th to the 10th. And then we see the ensemble model runs starting to bring in a storm of some kind. So we'll take a look at that. Let's put this into motion. This is our cold low starting its forecast period. Here's a ridge in the west. It's a little embedded low inside of it. Isn't it? It's a low inside of a high. Kind of interesting. You can see it's trying to get reconnected. Here comes another low that does suck it in. That becomes a cutoff itself. Travels retrograde down to the southwest. And this sets the stage for that next storm coming in around the 11th and 12th. Here comes a trough in the Pacific Northwest. It sinks up with that low that got a hold of some moisture, brings that moisture up, that trough really deepens down to the southwest again, and we get a change in the weather. Taking a look at the precipitation over the next 10 days, we see dry, 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 dry. You'll see that low break off and start to head to the southwest as this movie progresses. There's a little signal of the right there, a little precipitation around Las Vegas, a little low forming off of Baja down here. Here comes the northern trough, and the two start to connect. The real heavy precipitation still stays east of our state. There's a surface flow deepening off the Rockies. Up it goes. We have some light snow flurries and things at the end of next week into the next weekend. So, yep. Yeah. Something is coming, but it's not huge. Taking a look over the next 10 days, this all occurs in the last day and a half. And we have one inch to maybe two inches around Longmont, uh, south of Boulder, you know, uh, foothills above Denver. We see things piling up to about the five to six inch area. But for the most part, it's kind of spotty. The amount of water we get out of it is a tenth or less than a tenth to up to a quarter of an inch of water, maybe about two thirds to an inch almost, uh, south of Boulder and west of Denver. Not a lot of water, but again, we'll take everything we can get. Over the next 10 days, we are on a pretty steady warm trend here, going from the 40s on Wednesday up to the 60s next Tuesday, with no chance of rain, but some moisture starts to creep in with cloudiness at the beginning of next week. For more frequent weather updates and local news, check out longmontlear.com. I've been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.